To the glory of God in everlasting remembrance of the Dover Patrol, 1914 to 1919. Hmm. They died that we might live. May we be worthy of their sacrifice. Ah, Marcus Conti reporting on the 4th of July, Independence Day. That's what I love about my neighborhood. Right? I live by a fort. And you see all this very interesting war, these war relics. Now, this is what Independence Day is all about, right? The bombs and the planes that, that built the, you know, that won this country's wars. Right? Namely the one in England. So the Dover Patrol, right? The Dover Patrol when the Americans, when the, when the big bad Nazis were invading, you know, all the countries around them. And the Americans stepped in in France. And, and over here in England, Dover, Dover, England, to free the, the good people from German tyranny. That was one wall. These are the cannonballs. It's all old uh, war relics, you know. That's a real cannon. I guess it was mounted on a on a boat at some point. Right? The fucking cannonballs. <laughs> How'd you get hit one of these things? Look at the size of this thing, man. It's a fucking. It's a big piece of iron. That's a big piece of iron right there, right? couple hundred pounds they shoot that shit shoot that shit with some gunpowder blow you to blow your boat out of the water man so Marcus Conti reporting so yesterday I'll talk about 4th of July and what it means I'll walk down to the water over here so you could see where we're in the New York Harbor so you could see where the actual ships came in from England in fact the whole New York Harbor uh, apparently was full of British warships during the the um, when they took over I, I don't know if they were there when, when we we claimed independence I think that happened seven years ago seven years after the fact I'm no historian but anyway I'll show you where it all happened <laughs> and when Washington you know those guys slipped out into whoa sorry about that <laughs> they slipped out into Washington Heights make sure I'm still plugged in Ooh, I hit my wire Make sure they, the, that um, they slipped out to Washington Heights. That's why it's called the George Washington Bridge, Washington Heights, all that stuff, right? <laughs> people people watch, watching, me, watching me watch them. Ah, I'm a little tired right now. So I was, I was on a Defango show last night. Defango TV. Oh, boy. The LARP Wars, I know. It's interesting because again, it, it, it has a it has a reaching effect on free speech and freedom to do what we're doing right now, which is publish ideas and publish information on YouTube, right? Independent journalism, pirate radio, you know, whatever you want to call it, right? And you know, in, in some in some senses, whoever right now, whoever has the most money wins, right? So you've got the Seth Rich case where Seth Rich's brother is controlled by operatives, DNC operatives, to secure that Seth Rich story so that no one ever questions the fact that the Russians hacked the election. And, and spend, you know, spend some money to ensure that that story stays in place. And in that process, you've got the, uh, you know, you've got the money grabbers, you've got the, the, the weak players. People that are not necessarily honest with themselves or others, and they, they may have fallen, you know, they fall into the trap of put int integrity aside. I, I need to make some money, right? And um, but but the, the the thing about the DNC reaching into our pocket or our community, you know, and harassing people like Matt Couch and Ed Patowski, and not that these are innocent people, not that they're these are outstanding people because they're clearly, you know, they're 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 in the game, right? They're they're in this game, and um, you know, sometimes you you know you you the big boys play rough, 
Right? The big boys play rough. Show you the bridge. Let's find a spot. Somebody over here filming. I don't want to get in their way. So here's the New York Harbor, right? So, so if you look out that way, that's the Atlantic Ocean, right? And a Staten Island over there. So the so the boats, the British warships came in. They came in. They came in. And they occupied this area right here, called the Narrows. And then Manhattan is up the river that way, right? Right where that boat is over there. You see the boat. It's coming from. Manhattan. It's a little foggy, so you can't really see the. Uh, you could see the Statue of Liberty uh, when the, when it's on a clear day. You could see it very clearly. It's not far away. It's only maybe like I don't know five miles away. And here, here the British, you know, they claimed independence. You know, the Americans claimed independence from Britain. They 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 came in with all their arsenal. And America said, fuck you, we're independent. Uh, that's a, that shit is crazy, right? That's what Independence Day really is, right? That's what it's all about, man. It's a, and, you know, that's what I'm... That's what... In a, in a strange way, that's kind of what that interview with the Fango represents. It's kind of... It's kind of... For me, it is. I don't know what it is for those guys. But for me, it is. It's like the little guy is getting crushed. And if all the little guys stand separated and, and they're allowed to be separated, right? They fight amongst each other. They cut each other up. The Fango hates this one. This one hates them. The other one, they all hate each other, right? They're all cutting each other up because you've got this very large entity, DNC operatives, leaning on them and, you know, creating confusion, creating um, this discord, discourse, right? Trying to get them to eat each other. <laughs> it's working. Uh, so watch that interview. That's it's kind of fun. It's kind of revealing. I don't think there's any you know innocent players. I think, and I'll say it to Fango. My, you know my my takeaway is that you're not you're not entirely innocent in the in the whole scenario. You you laid wa you laid down with dogs, and you got up with fleas. Uh, we want, I'm not going to say that guy's name anymore because he's 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 done. The guy that you were laying down with is a is a dog, and you got to look at yourself and say, "Well, why was I laying down with that guy?" Oh, he tricked me. Oh. <laughs> Where's your? I mean, you know, and, and when you're in a situation like that, how come? I I I beg to differ. How come you didn't record him making you that deal, Mister Mister Tech Savvy? I'm not knocking you. You're you're you know. I just think you. I think you're you're a little soft, you know, you, you, and and you let the guy run you over. And now look what happened. <laughs> now look what happened, right? The guy's trying to throw you under the bus. Uh, that shit happens, man, you know. Everybody makes a mistake, right? So another thing I got to... Uh, it has been brought to my attention that I may have said that uh, Lift a Veil... I'm going to be very careful how I say this because there's a very lot, a lot of sensitivity out there. That... Um, that Lift the Veil in some way gave this crazy TS guy a platform. And that's not what I meant. That, I, that's, I, it was, that's why I don't do interviews late at night. That shit was late at night. I'm, I'm already half sleeping, right? What I meant is that, is that um, he was... I, I, I watched something on Lift the Veil and it's just... It, it's more of a, a creative dif difference of opinion. I wouldn't give someone I wouldn't open the door to you know for someone that I thought was was um, was a bad apple right and that, and that was just I'm not saying that Nathan did that I'm not saying that Nathan gave this guy a platform but he was open to the idea that the guy wasn't a crook right despite what I, I don't know what I consider overwhelming evidence that he is Right, and his and his, and my direct interaction with him leads me to believe that he's not a he's not an honest uh, broker at all, which I think Nathan is a very honest broker. Right, and he's probably smarter than most of us. <laughs> so anyway, man. So I I don't know what to make of that, man. If I hurt your feelings, fucking you know, grow up, man. Fucking grow up already, guys. Grow up, man. 
Grow up, you're rock stars. <laughs> so, enjoy your uh, Independence Day. All right, I'm going to go home. I was going to sleep, man. I don't sleep at night. I sleep in the day. <laughs> I do the work and then I sleep. So, uh, enjoy your Independence Day wherever you are. There will be fireworks tonight in New York. The bombs will go off in remembrance of, I don't know what. Is it a drinking holiday? Is it, is it a holiday where we remember the, you know, the falling heroes, the, the people that fought and died in these wars? Are the wars, were the wars valid then and not valid now? Was the Great Revolution the same thing as Iraq? Uh, it's just things you have to think about, you know, on, on this uh, day of independence. And to our friends in England, well, shit, you know, shit didn't work out for you, but it worked out for us, man. Look at this shit, man. We got a bridge. Remember when your ships came in? Now we got a big bridge there, man. That shit's crazy, right? They fucking sunk your ships probably right over here somewhere. A couple of British, British ships in the water down there, man. Right? Now, let's build a bridge, guys. That's all I'm saying to the... Uh, What's left of a truth or community is build bridges, right? Br a bridge that connects. I mean, it's fun to tear each other up because, hey, you know, what else you got, right? It's like brothers fighting. Let's give it up with the lawsuits. These lawsuits and, you know, physical threats of violence. You know, it's not, it's not cool, man. It's not cool, you know, because where I grew up, every once in a while, you know, you could be a tough guy with your big mouth and your big lawsuit. But every once in a while, you punch the wrong guy. You just, you just tangled with the wrong motherfucker. Right? And, and you don't know what hit you. And that's all I'm saying, right? That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not threatening anybody. I'm just telling you that sometimes you mess with the wrong guy. And that is my experience growing up in this, you know, this New York thing, right? That's my qualification. Right. So be very careful. Right. Words don't matter. You can say whatever you want. Right. Say, call me buck tooth, cunt fucker, whatever you want to say. I don't care. Right. That's words. When you, when you step it up to physical uh, threats or trying to drag people in, in, into courts and extort them for information and money, now we're talking about something else. And for that, it's, that, that is unforgivable. Uh, that, that sort of stuff becomes unforgivable. And you can't escape karma. Because that shit is going to come back to haunt you. That is going to bite you all in the ass. So That's all, about, all, all for now. So, 4th of July, I'll pop in later. Man. I'm going to try to catch some of the fireworks. I'm not going to go into the mess you know, by, the, uh, by the city. It's too... It's too many tourists. The police corral everybody into little areas, and uh, it's really not. Uh, it's not my thing. So, so anyway, Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs>